Controlling the quality of photos you use for your business graphics is the key to maintaining impressive standards in your visuals. If you have pet hair on your shirt, want to remove a distracting product logo from a lifestyle photo, have imperfections or dust on your product shot, or simply want to remove an unwanted object from an image, Photoshop's patch tool is your best friend. Hello and welcome back to your favorite marketing channel. Life Marketing. We're a digital marketing agency committed to helping small businesses grow. I'm Jelly and in this video, we're going to see how Photoshop's patch tool can clean your business images. Now we have Photoshop open, we're going to start with this image by dragging and dropping it into our Photoshop window. As usual, for any image you want to alter in Photoshop, make sure that the layer your image is on is unlocked by double clicking on the layer and clicking OK. So the tool we're using today is fairly simple and easy to use, but it's also very powerful in how it can remove unwanted blemishes from your images. So for this image, let's say we want to remove this ladder here. The patch tool works by covering your selected object or area with another part of the same image. Think of it as the Photoshop equivalent of a skin graft. You can access the patch tool by clicking this button on the toolbar or pressing J on your keyboard. And make sure that it's set to source here. Now click and hold down your mouse and draw a selection around your object. Now that your object or area is selected, drag it over to the area you want to cover it with. Now for this part, it's important you pay attention to lines or patterns when doing this. For this image, there's the border between the floor and the wall that we want to keep straight. So we're going to drag to this area we want to sample and make sure the sample area's wall and floor are aligned correctly. Okay, now you can release your mouse. Press M on your keyboard, right click on your mouse, and click on deselect. Now the ladder is completely gone and covered with the area we sampled to cover it. Hey, we just helped a small business make over $1.5 million through Facebook advertising. And after managing millions of dollars in ad spend for thousands of different small businesses, we have decided to give away everything we learned to you in a special program. If you wanna learn the blueprint to success, the best practices from some of the fastest growing companies in the world, and all of the different tools you will need, then sign up for our social ads training program today. Now let's work on something more complicated. Let's cover the area of spilled coffee here. Obviously this image here is intentional, but you can apply this to a shirt covered in pet hair or a product shot that has a little bit of dust in it that you want to remove before posting. And for any other image you might want to omit or remove specific details of before you use it in any of your marketing graphics. Let's start with patching this big area here with a plastic cup. We can follow the same steps we did on our first sample, again making sure the white line here is not broken when we drag it into the area of image we want to cover it with. Okay, so now there's this dark area at the top of our patch, so we're not quite done yet. I'm just going to keep dragging it into the lower area until the patch doesn't look off. Okay, now with the big area covered, let's patch these smaller splashes of coffee surrounding it. Press M on your keyboard and right click on your mouse to deselect. Covering these will be easier since the splashes are small and we have so much area around it that we can sample to cover our patch. So once again, I'm going to select the patch tool and do the same steps to cover them. Now there's this area at the top of the image where the coffee splashes are over the line again, so we can just go ahead and patch it to follow the area under it that is now clean. We're going to do that a few times again, and there we go. We've cleaned the spilled coffee out of this image. Now the patch tool has another function. As you can see here, aside from source, there's a destination setting. So let's go ahead and click that. Now this works in reverse to how the source function works. After you draw your selection over your object, it will now copy your selection and apply it to the area you drag it to. Aside from cleaning up images, this is especially useful for product shots because it'll allow you to create cool image compositions. And that is it for today's Photoshop guide. If you learned anything today and plan to apply it on your own business photos, please give this video a like and follow our channel, Life Marketing. If you want to see more of these kinds of graphic how-tos, as well as other essential digital marketing guides. Once again, this is Jelly. Thanks for watching.